What's up guys, Dr. Chris Park here. Today I wanna to talk about toxic masculinity, what that really means, and how you can live happy despite irrational political trends. Toxic masculinity. I'm sure you've heard the phrase and you've questioned what that could possibly mean. For me, it's been used out of context to take a strike at masculinity in general. Some have even went as far to deem it an attack on men. But by honest definition and founding of the phrase, toxic masculinity refers to the lack of healthy expression and action in men. To sum things up, toxic masculinity is actually referring to the lack of masculinity in today's society. And that's not pointed at anyone's sexuality or feminine nature. It's directed towards men who neglect the morale and traditional core values of typical masculinity. Healthy masculinity, or just masculinity in general, because we shouldn't have to call it that, isn't an image or some 21st century factor of being appealing or cool. Masculinity includes being self-expressive, being honest about your emotions, and addressing how you'll overcome what you're dealing with. What's toxic is when we try to influence the idea of keeping everything trapped inside, or telling our friends to just suck it up when their mental health is taking a toll. There's no road to progress there. It's a void of misery. If you look at male suicide rates, you'll understand why that's very toxic. You know, another issue is mainstream corporate marketing. People try to manipulate our ideas of masculinity through image. They want us to buy their products by baiting male interest. They say to be a man you've got to wear these jeans or buy these boots or drink this kind of beer. And that is anti-masculine and a slap in the face to the men who try to separate themselves from the world's negativity. Putting self-care first even as a male should be a priority. You matter every ounce of your blood, mind, body, and soul. And you owe it to yourself to have a clear mind, a positive environment, and a happy life. Have value, be respectful, be chivalrous, conquer obstacles, and lead the way for others who need guidance. Don't be some non-masculine, toxic douchebag who only cares how society looks at them and what they can take from it. Instead, take pride in your trials. Love yourself for who you are. Keep your eyes and ears open and learn everything you can from your experiences while others just try to shift the direction you think. Masculinity is not toxic. Toxic masculinity is the absence of masculinity that many men have used to paint a negative image of us. Now it's time to stop dwelling over yours and others' misinterpretations and show the world what you're made of. I'm Dr. Chris Park. Thanks for tuning in.